Now we're going to take some time to talk about how to place cross sections in a stack in OpenVSP. We'll click here, go to our cross sections, and let's go here to cross section 2 and give it maybe a little bit more X displacement from the previous section. So again, notice that by giving this some extra X and why not, maybe a little bit of Z, all of the material ahead of this cross section here is remaining constant and everything aft of the cross section is moving along with it. So it's just shifting around. And that's because all of these cross sections with their own individual delta X, Y, Z and rotations are just using this as their reference. The reference moves, the rest of them move. Similar to here, all of the things that precede this cross section have nothing to do whatsoever with this one. So you're able to build things up in a step-by-step -step approach very similar to how you would do in a CAD program. So you'll notice that here in the design tab, we don't have a design length. And in fact, in cross section, there's only an absolute distance input. There is no relative distance here like you have with a fuselage. So because we have a free design policy by default, there's nothing telling us that we can or can't move the cross sections to be in say, let's go to cross section three here and move this a little bit further aft. So we've given it some negative delta X. So this one actually precedes in a absolute space sense, the section that comes before it. So it's come down, wrapped around and it's here. So you can see how easy it would be to build a flow through component or a component that wraps back around on itself with a stack. The important thing is to remember your relative delta X, Y, and Z that make sure that everything ties together. Anyway, let's say that we also wanted to give this section maybe some delta Z. And you can see how you can start to come up with really interesting complex shapes because the stack is basically free to do whatever it wants. So by giving it this change in placement as you move around, you can build these up into very complex, very interesting, very creative geometry types just by playing with a few sliders by hand. And there's nothing stopping you. And the nice thing is that all of these sections that come after it still remain the same. So again, if I come back to section two here, I can change the height of this component or the length of this component just by adjusting that. And this neat little scooped head that I've made moves along with it. So I don't have to recreate it every time I want to move a component.